and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Charmaine and today it's our advent calendar for the month of April. I am so excited for this. If you guys don't know what this is, I saw a TikTok like two years ago about a person wrapping up their own books and then making themselves their own advent calendar to read throughout the year. This year I wrapped up 24. They're behind me. I actually had like half of them hidden and I didn't realize that so I went and found them the other day and it was exciting because I was like woohoo more books because you know I love books. I did write down what I had wrapped up but then I lost the list so I don't know where it is. So I might own these twice. <laughs> Hopefully they're not like actually in here twice. Last year I did that with one of the Simone St. James books. I can't remember which one it was but when I opened it I was like I just bought this. <laughs> So I kind of am trying to be like more aware of the books that I bought, but this is mainly just to like use my good stuff. It's to use my tees, my sheet masks, my stickers, my bookmarks, like change everything up and also read the books that I end up opening. And I'm doing this with my friend Taylor. If you guys have not checked out her channel yet, please go over there. She is awesome. So I open up two every month. I think Taylor does as well because I'm pretty sure that she opened up 24. And I did give myself like a little cheat sheet in each one of them. So it tells me maybe I'll be able to guess what it is. I highly doubt it because I wrapped mine like in October and my memory is not very well. I will be right back. And I'm back! Okay, cool. So this one here is the first one that I pulled a little slip out of. It was published in July of 2022. It has a 3.1 on Goodreads and a 3.8 on Amazon. It's a horror thriller suspense psychological. Um, Hope is believing there will be... Uh, this is a book quote. Hope is believing there will be another moment of joy. Despair is knowing there won't be one more. And another book quote is, Yeah, we Gen Xers hated ourselves almost as much as we loved ourselves. Oh, I think this is Things We Did in the Dark. I think it's called Things We Did in the Dark. Okay, okay. So I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I have after, but I'm going to open up the book. So I always stick a couple of like little treats in here. I like made little envelopes for myself. Like, not envelopes, but, like, little pockets so that I can tuck little treats and stuff in there. Because, like, when you're reading a book, you want to use your treats. Like, obviously, it's self-care time to read your book and it's self-care time to use your treats. Okay, so if it's not exactly that title, I will tell you guys if it's the book that I was thinking of. Because I think maybe it is. I'm not sure. I'm opening it towards you so you can see it. no that is not even close to what I thought it was okay so this is the Paul Bears Club by Paul Tremblay it says on the back here the coolest girl you've ever met decided to be your friend question mark art Barbara was not so cool he's a 17 year old high school loner in the late 1980s who listened to hair metal had to wear a monstrous back brace at night for his scoliosis and started an extracurricular club for volunteer pallbearers at poorly attended funerals. But his new friends through the pallbearers club was cool. But his new friend thought the pallbearers club was cool. There we go. And she brought along her Polaroid camera to take pictures of the corpses. Okay, that part was weird. So she was obsessive knowledge of a notorious bit of New England folklore that involved digging up the dead. And there were other strange, terrifying things that happened when she was around, usually at night. But she was a friend, so it was okay, right? Decades later, Arts decides to try and make sense of it all by writing the Paul Bears Club a memoir. But somehow, his friends got her hands on the manuscript as well as, and she has some issues with it, and now she's making some cuts. Seamlessly blurred by the between the lines of fact and memory, the supernatural and un mon or mundane. The Paul Bearer Club is immersive, suspenseful portrait and an unforgettable, settling friendship. Is this like a fantasy or is this like real? I mean, I guess if there's ghosts in it. No, no. Okay. So he writes um, fiction. I was like, is this real? <laughs> but then his name is Paul, not Art. And that's where we know that I'm sick. <laughs> okay. So my first treats with this one, I have two sheet masks. I actually put two sheet masks and an eye mask in every single one of them because like I have told you guys, I have not been doing that well with my skincare. And now that I'm not feeling well, I can really feel it. I'm dry, like everywhere. It hurts. I'm not happy about it. So yeah. So what I got here first off is a mermaid face mask. It's centrist scented and it has little scales on it. 
So that's pretty neat. Uh, we'll probably use that one today. Then I have the Playlist Moisturizing and Brightening Sheet Mask. I need all of the moisture, so I'm happy to have that as well. And then I have one of the Do With the Gods eye patches. These are under eye volumizing collagen pads. They are felt on the one side and sticky on the other. So you can actually use them a couple of times. So I will be using those a couple of times. Then I have some tea here, which I will also be using today. So the first one I have is the President's Choice Lemon Thriller. It's this one here. And then the second one I have is English Breakfast by Twinnings. This one I will be saving because my mom actually bought us um, English Breakfast in like a little Alice in Wonderland tin and we've been using that. So because this is in its own package, I can save this one and those ones are open so I'll end up using them first. Then I have a bookmark. This one I got from Gigi and Bo. It is her just plain paper original style one. If you guys don't know this, Taylor does have a discount code. It's Tay10, like T-A-Y 10. And you can use that through the Gigi and Bo website or their Etsy. So I will put their website and their Etsy down below as well because that's how I actually found Gigi and Bo was through Taylor's videos. So this is Caroline from The Vampire Diaries and it comes with a little tassel. This is just like the plain paper one. She also had like, you could get laminated, not laminated, tassel, no tassel, that kind of thing. But I really like these. I just haven't gotten a haul from her because with the new website and everything, the shipping price has changed and it's quite a lot to ship to Canada. Oops, I dropped that on the floor, that's fine. And then I have some book tabs here. These are the pastel kind of rainbow ones. Those are my fave. Rainbow is my fave, as you guys know. And then I have a lot of stickers here. So I grabbed two bigger ones. The first one that I have says, books are better than people. I'm trying to hold it so that you guys can see it. Here, maybe like that. Books are better than people. And then the other one is like a person's head with a library bookshelves in it and they're wearing glasses so that's pretty neat I like those that I think I'm actually going to add to my book journal because I've been using I have like dividers in there to keep the months apart and I've been using some of my fancy big book stickers in there so I might end up using those then I have some silver and white I guess with a um, teal kind of blue these are crafting ones and I got this from the Pipstick Sticker Club I had their subscription for a little while, so that's nice. And then I have a washi tape one here, which is just like cozy stuff. So there's a book with like a little mat underneath it, and then a cup of tea, there's a chair with a cat on it, there's a camera, a bike, a comfy chair, some plants. And these are like washi tape kind of versions. So those work really well on anything. And then from the Four Bear Sticker Club, which is my absolute fave, as you guys know, I have the pink fluffy llamas. They're very cute. They're sparkly with like kind of dots. The dots are sparkly. So yeah, there's that. So I did not guess that one, but that's pretty cool. I'm excited to read that because I really like reading. And then the next one I have here is this one. And it's the same kind of deal. I had it all wrapped up. So this one here says it's published in 2012. It's a thriller and it's supernatural. It has a 3.9 on Goodreads and a 4.3 on Amazon. A Goodreads quote says... This was so good, creepy, and sad. And a book would, quote says, You can't imagine how hard it is to come home from hell and be expected to pick up the threads of your life. Okay, I feel as though this is a... What's his name? It's either a Riley Sanger one or a Grady Hendrix one. I don't know which one it is. Can't imagine how hard it is to come home from hell. I feel as though it's a Riley Sanger one, maybe. I'm not even sure. Like, honestly... I'm gonna keep trying, I guess, but like, your girl does not know. I wrapped these in October. I don't know what happened yesterday. I really don't know what happened yesterday because I'm tired. <laughs> so I did have like the little pockets here just so you guys can see what it looks like. And then I put a sticker on the front of each of them just to actually use my stickers and then also to help keep them closed and make them a little nice because I had some like kind of funky different papers. Like you can see them behind me there. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up towards you guys. I think it's a Riley Sager one. That's what I'm gonna go with. This paper is also really hard to get into. It's pretty tough paper, so that worked out pretty well. And there it is. And there it is. Oh my gosh, it's a Simone St. James. It is not one that I opened last year. Okay, so this is The Haunting of Maddie Claire. I should have known. Haunting. Okay, so a woman in... A woman of limited means and even less experienced must confront the vengeful spirit of the haunting... Novel from the New York Times bestseller, The Sundown Hotel and Cold Cases. 
1920, Sarah Piper's lonely, threadbare existence changes when her temporary agency sends her to assist an obsessed ghost hunter. Alastair Gillis, rich, handsome, and scarred by World War I, has been summoned to investigate the spirit of 19-year-old Maddie Clare, who is said to haunt the barn where she committed unaliving. Maddie hated men in life, and she will not speak to them in death, but Sarah is unprepared to confront an angry ghost, real or imagined, on her own. She's even less prepared for the arrival of Elsister's associate, associate, rough and unsettled Matthew Ryder, also a veteran of the trenches, whose scars go deeper than Sarah can reach. Soon Sarah is caught in the desperate struggle, for Maddie's ghost is no hoax, she's real, she's angry, and she has powers that defy all reason. Now Sarah and Matthew must discover who Maddie was, where she came from, and what is driving her desire for vengeance before she destroys them all. So it's like a ghost story. So that's pretty cool. Honestly, I have been in a pretty big reading slump lately, so I'm pretty excited to get ones that I think are more like up my alley of trying to read stuff. I don't know what I did. Like in... February I was in a little bit of a reading slump I read like six books and I was like oh that's actually not that bad because by the end of the month I had read six books and I was like that's pretty good March I read three and like two of them I read at the beginning of the month other than that I have not finished a book I'm not even like starting books I'm just having like a hard time I mean granted I was sick for like half of March so maybe that's what it was now that I'm thinking about it because I'm like I'm sick while I'm talking to you guys so maybe I'm gonna give myself a little bit of grace there and I'm gonna take that back whatever it's fine <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to show you the sheet mask that I have here first. Ooh, this one I put an extra one in. Oh, sweet deal, sweet deal. So first I have this gold lip mask. I actually got these from Amazon. It was like a box of 30 of them. They make your lips feel really, really nice. They kind of give you like a little bit of a plumping kind of thing, but like it makes your lips feel nice. Then I have a multi-serum eye mask. These are rose gold in the packaging. Did they say? I think I got these from Kim. Hanging out with Kim. I think I got them from Kim. Then I have a Creme Shop Pump Up Plump Up Skin Animated French Dog Bow Mask. This one I got from Taylor. So thank you, Taylor. And then I have a Strawberry Essence Sheet Mask. I am going to be using all of these because, like I said, my skin is super dry. So I'm enjoying that already. Then, did I drop something? No. Okay, so I have one tea here. Just one this time. Okay. So I have one tea here. This I actually got from Taylor as well. She gave me an... A tea advent calendar and I didn't end up using them all so I put some of them into my books here. This is the Puka tu Tulisi Clarity I think. Look at how pretty the packaging is. Like and also Puka tea is like super wicked expensive so thank you for that Taylor. Then for my bookmark I have What Are You Reading Right Now and it has a little kitty on the front and it has a tassel with some beads. This I do have to keep away from a cat because homeboy does like to play with those. <laughs> He's a pretty chill cat. Like, he just, like, relaxes most of the time. But when he sees those tassels, he's like, oh, it's on. For, like, five minutes, and then he goes back to sleep. <laughs> and then again, I have rainbow ones. Oh, look at Okay, so these are the pastel rainbow ones, and these ones are actually, like, a little bit of a darker version. So rainbow tabs are my favorite. Rainbow is my favorite. You guys know I have rainbows in the background. And then I have some stickers here. So the big sticker that I have is a seashell on some pastel books. That's one of them. And then I have one that says read more books and it's in pink, which is awesome. And then I have some Four Bears Sticker Club. I have flowers. They're kind of pastel-y color as well. They actually go really well with this like book sticker and I did not plan that out. So yay past me for being awesome and seeing that because I did not plan that out. I put everything in at separate times. And then this one here is a sticker I got from Timu, I think. And it's flowers and butterflies and like hydrangeas kind of thing. So there's that. So yeah, those are the two books that I will be trying to read for the month of April. Again, like I said, I have not been doing very well this year so far. I have read 17 books. So I mean like being that it's like April 1st when I'm filming this, that's not that bad. That's pretty good. But I'm trying to keep like better track of my books and I am trying to read more. We did read uh, Fairy Tale last month and that was like a really long book to listen to in audio. But I honestly, like I was reading a book and I'm like super into it. I just cannot convince myself to read. But again, like I said, I'm sick. So that's probably what it is. Okay, so make sure that you go over and check out Taylor's video as well. Uh, this time she will be posting on Sunday. She forgot last time, but that's okay because we had like just moved it. But we do do these every single first Sunday of the month. 
just so you guys know what's happening. And if you guys want to join us in this, I did film a video of like how I fold the books and all of that kind of stuff so you can join us, like add your own fancy stuff or just grab like a book off your shelf that you should be like you should have read like an older book that you have from your older TBR. Grab it, grab some yourself some treats and then like just enjoy yourself and enjoy your book time and give yourself some self-care and relax, okay? Okay, so please like this video. I moved my thing up there. <laughs> I gotta move it somewhere. I had to like jimmy rig this whole system. It is a jimmy rigged mess on this side, you guys, but that's fine, that's fine. That's what that's what we're working with now. This is how your girl is, okay? So my sign up there is like way up there now. So please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already because I do not remember this stuff at the end. I would just say goodbye to you guys and not say anything. <laughs> Please check out my other my description box for other content creators as well. And Taylor's video or her channel is always down there. She's like one of my first ones in my description box. I do have a couple of other people in different categories down there as well. If you guys want to check out some different categories and stuff like that. And thank you guys so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I really, really appreciate that. And I really, really appreciate you. And I'll see you in my next video. Y'all can tell that I'm like not feeling 100% because my smile is like shaking. Like when I smile, it's like. It's like my mouth is like shaking because like I'm so tired and I hurt my neck. <laughs> so like, I'm just a hot mess. Hot mess. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys so much again for spending a couple minutes of your day with me today. I really, really appreciate that. And I really, really appreciate you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.